A rate cut is imminent, but the RBI alone cannot turn around the fortunes of the Indian economy. That's the word coming in from IDFC chief Rajiv Lal. Uh, Bloomberg TV's Anupriya Nair sat down with Lal and began by asking him if corporate India believed there was a genuine economic turnaround on the ground. Here at a slice of that interview. You know, an economy this large that has been declining for some years, um, to change uh, uh, a battleship this large takes a little time. I think this government has only been in office less than, what, three months? Um, it's too early, it's too early to say. But what we do know for a fact is that business confidence um, has returned very in a very material manner, right? And that is the first and most important foundation for a turnaround in the CapEx cycle. So my, my prognostication or expectation is that we will see an uptick. Um, it will be driven by non-infrastructure um, sectors, um, such, as? such as general business. Uh, okay. There will be investment that will be related to um, sectors other than infrastructure. That will be the first turnaround in the CapEx cycle. Then it will be followed, hopefully, by infrastructure as well, as residual regulatory issues um, get sorted out. I want to just touch up briefly on one thing that has been sort of keeping the growth back, which has been leverage in this in this economy. Infrastructure in particular, a lot of the players, people were hoping with the new government coming in as with some magic wand that suddenly everyone's going to clean up their act, the balance sheets are going to be clean and it's going to be business as usual. That's not happened. It's taking a lot longer for corporates to be able to sell some of the assets that they were looking at to clean up their balance sheets. Is that a point of concern to you? How do you really see the deleveraging uh, panning out and the impact it will have on the financial system? So that's the risk we're running. Um, in in the recovery, um, and the risk has to do with the healing of balance sheets, um, both the balance sheets of the financial system, mainly the public sector banks, as well as the healing of the balance sheets of the corporate sector itself. Um, that requires an infusion of equity and a reduction of debt. Uh, reduction of debt um, is more difficult uh, to execute because it requires Cogs All kinds of, um, you know, claims, competing claims have to be adjudicated and it takes time for that to happen. It is beginning to happen, um, not quite at the pace we would all like. Mm -hmm. uh, equity infusion is easier, provided, however, the markets are healthy. Um, and the markets will be healthy if confidence is high. And confidence is high if people believe that growth will return. So it's a tricky balancing act. Um, again, my bet would be that um, as people and investors uh, gain more evidence or have more evidence of this government's resolve um, to stay with or launch uh, an ambitious program of reforms, and you can sense that already in the last few weeks after the election results in Maharashtra. Amidst these winds of change and inflection point the economy is sitting at, you're about a year away from launching your own bank and yes. getting on with it and, you yes. know, getting, being, you're already part of the big uh, growth story, but getting more included into it now. Is everything on track with the IDFC bank or what do we hear to hope to hear next from you? Well, I'd like to believe everything is on track. I mean, <laughs> we, we are supposed to launch in October 1st next year. Um, we are expecting to launch October 1st uh, next year. Um, uh, I can only say that it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the challenge is quite daunting, but it is extremely exciting because for a new bank um, uh, coming into the industry after 10 or 12 years since the last bank licenses were issued uh, creates a world of opportunity. There have been a huge amount of changes in the last decade, technology, regulation, customer attitudes uh, that make uh, the prospects for a new bank quite exciting. I, I just want to get on one technical point. Have you received clarity on how much of the infra book will be exempt, sir, from the terms of the regulation? The yeah, at least a third of it. At least a third of yeah. it. Yeah. So it's all, all, all looking good for October next year for now. For Touch wood, yes. Bank. Yeah. Um, before I let you go, I want to ask you on the rate cycle. Yeah. It's the big talking point now. Uh, every time we see inflation going down, the question moves back to Dr. Rajan on right. will you help growth along? Right. One camp is arguing that there is no need for a rate cut because cost of funding is coming down in the market as is, as right. if one starts to look at the CPCD market. What's your own sense at this point, given the global environment and the inflation trend, 
and faltering or sputtering growth at this point? Where so do you see rates? I, I, uh, I can't predict two things uh, at the same time. Um, so I can predict that rates are going to go down. <laughs> exactly when it's going to happen, um, I cannot say, but I, I think that uh, it's a matter of time um, before rates start coming down. Because I, I do believe that um, um, uh, the secular trends um, that were driving the consumer price index um, are beginning to turn around. So you, you would say though that uh, has cost of funding in the market Rajiv come down though? Like uh, because the bankers we speak to on the other side say that corporates are not borrowing right now. It's not, yes. it's, this, is not a ba it's, this is not a funding problem, this is yes. not a liquidity problem, this, this is a yeah. growth issue right now. It's so a will a rate cut help? Um, partly. I mean it's all, uh, I think a rate cut alone cannot turn around the economy. Um, uh, traction on credible reforms then supported with rate cuts is what will really make the difference. Last question, next budget, we're already talking about it, we'll see a host of meetings all through November yeah. as he starts the pre-budget meetings, almost unbelievable, it just seems like he went through the last one. Yeah. Uh, what are you watching it for, for in this budget? Will it be the GSTs, land laws, like what are you hoping to hear from? I'm really expecting that before March 31st, 15, GST will be a reality.